you're like MKBHD, me, and many others, then when you watched Apple's WWDC keynote, you noticed a pattern in iOS 14. And there was a sort of a theme to it? Apple grabbed a whole bunch of features from Google and Android, and we're going to look at them. I'm Matt Skyler, let's get started. One of Apple's biggest and finest accomplishments in iOS 14 from WWDC was stealing a feature from Android 1.0. You guessed it, widgets. So here's Apple's implementation, and here's the Android implementation that has been here for so long, from the beginning of Android. And I have to say, Apple did a pretty good job copying it. Now, after this revolutionary idea of widgets, they moved into something truly game-breaking, the app library, which is a totally new idea. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. It's just the app drawer in Android. So yeah, here's Apple's version with these folders that auto-magically sort your apps. Come on, I had to say it. I mean, try it, it's really fun. Automagically. There's also in their app library an alphabetized list of all your apps. And here's the Android version with the same alphabetized list of all your apps. Very similar. Now, once you have this app library, there's just one thing you need. And it's this awesome iPhone superpower to hide apps and send new ones to the app, I mean, app library. Hold on, I am getting word that Android also has this, but they still don't have wiggle mode, so ha. And yes, that is what Apple calls it. Hide app pages? I just go into jiggle mode? Apple sort of mentioned that picture in pictures on the iPhones, and that's like really awesome. It works a lot like the iPad, if you see. It's got like, it just comes down automatically, and then you can change the sizes and have some controls. Oh, it's also exactly like Android Picture in Picture. Well, whatever, here is something Apple did totally new. Siri is just in the bottom of the screen now. Siri isn't there in Android. Yeah, but Google Assistant is. Oh, come on. Well, here is new Siri on iOS, uh, right there on the bottom, looking really good actually. And here's an older version of Android. That's all I have. It's smaller, it's a lot smaller than newer versions. Okay, this, this next one just isn't revolutionary at all. I mean, really, Apple? Cycling directions? Google Maps has done this forever. Seriously. Whatever. Now, following along that same path, Apple has a new Translate app. And honestly, I can't think of anyone else who has a translation app. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I've got one. Oh, yeah, Google Translate. You know, the industry leader? And it looks exactly the same. They both do offline translations and conversation translating. It's so similar. But hold on, I have got another one for you. App Clips. It's these little tiny parts of apps that you can download from special QR codes and stuff. This must be Apple's own original idea. Nope, it's called Instant Apps on Android and it's incredibly similar. One last one, okay? Apple has a whole bunch of new iMessage stuff. You've got group messages, improvements, Memoji, and the best part, it's actually new. They didn't steal this from Android. And, hold up, the fact that last week they were using iMessage and this week iMessage is their messaging platform is already way better than Google. All right, I'm S. Skyler. This was meant to be satirical and hopefully humorous. Thanks for watching. Bye.